it. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. This about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond the repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorinobu Arasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. I'm thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Why you figure she skipped town? I tried to locate her, but had no success. I suspect she covered her tracks. You said Parker could help you remove the relic. Does she work for a corporation? Got no clue. Evelyn was knowledgeable about the relic. Had a large chunk of classified info. An enigma to be sure. But she showed that slyness in getting corporal agents. You know the kind. I too possess this slyness you speak of. You got tossed out, lumped with the outcasts, easily. Or have you forgotten? <sighs> Is that all? Really should be going. Wait. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. Looking for justice in Night City. I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist, thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true, he's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka, betrayed it. everywhere hey i was listening to that shut up nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt what did you say you heard me let it go takamura hmm. at least one of you's got some fucking sense Tom's all right. 
Not afraid to speak his mind, that's all. He reminds me of my father. He also worked in a kitchen all his life. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. I'll get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Your noble Arasaka would agree, I'm sure. The Paka woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about a plan B. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place, the club called The Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there, Rogue. She take you for a suit? No, she saw me as Saburo-sama's killer. Rogue's well informed, gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper doubles and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka is still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you got some nerve. First you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. Make like nothing happened. You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back. Looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. You're the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us.
Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. You know where she is? What I just say. Drop it. I won't tell you again. Judy, you're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her. And I know you can help me do that. Who told you I won't? Can we meet? Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? Hey, look. Haven't I seen you here before? Got a good memory for faces. Bar's closed. Sorry, Chief. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den? Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Whoa, whoa, start again. What is it you want us to do now? Speak some sense into him. That don't work. I don't know. You slid. I, I don't care. I just want my broom back. Your pimp will you out, that it? Told me I was generating lots of business and said, have a nice Where are you going? Nothing to see back there. Concerned about strays? Go take care of your guests. Sus, we're not done here. Oh, yeah, we fucking are. You 
just don't give up, do you? Got nothing more to say to each other. Thought I made that clear. Or was I just too subtle for you? Susie seems to know what she wants. Is she your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the mocks? Listen, have you seen Evelyn? You need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist? You seem to know how the heist went. Meaning you did talk to her. I know how you fucked up. Got all your Doombas killed like a real pro. Caught some lead myself, too. Boo hoo. Occupational hazard for you, Mertz. You do this for fun? Talking around in circles? I'm trying to make this simple. Just tell me where she is. Why can't you? I don't trust you. That's simple. Sure, I took a risk. We all did. But it was Evelyn who gave it to us in the first place. She knew what this was from the start. Fine. Looks like we're all in this piss pot together. But you're desperate. The writing's on your face. Excuse me? I came here with a simple question. You're the one making me desperate if I am. Maybe instead of judging, you could just tell me where she is. All right, enough. Get lost. You care so much. Find clouds. Look there. And where's clouds? Sig case on my desk got the address. Just take it and go. Mega tower. Luxurious. What's clouds? A dollhouse. But can't say I like your chances if you don't know that much. They're just treats. Evelyn's there. We know this. Or are you guessing? Saw it in the tarot. Now ghosts before I call the girls. Evelyn a regular there, or a drone? The club's closed. Don't you have somewhere to be? Need an exchange there with Judy. What was that all about? How's this any of your business? Gonna follow up with your own sermon on responsibility for others? Go on, your high horse is waiting. I'm just curious. One thing I know about curiosity won't get you shit unless you got the fists and the ass to back it up. You know what happened to Evelyn Parker? Why are you asking me? You talked to Judy about her already. Sure, but you're the boss. You might know something more. Evelyn jumped the mock ship a long time ago. And anyone not a mox is not my damn problem. the club brings in a lot of biz. Pisses its share of cost, too. Why, looking to invest? Nah, I'm just... 
admiring your operation. We took over this place way back when. Every day. Forget Avalon. Admit it. This is about time. Hey. Successful meeting? Very. What's on the menu? Hey, Mateo, how well you know Evelyn? You know, in passing. Please. You know I ain't buying that. Maybe this'll help. With what? Don't owe me. Unless you want another drink. All right. Thanks for the chat. Thanks. Better get going. Hey. Successful meeting? Very. Thanks. Better get going. Name's V. And what? No ways to meet you? Akua Kata, the lady of Westbrook estate. When you find a moment, come see me. We must settle our accounts. Cassandra Dorset. You did quite well. You and that friend of yours. Until then. Take a bite. <laughs> so what? This time. Enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. Our sock and the tiger claws are in bed together. Go figure. Every corp plays dirty. 
Except the streets are more than that. They're filled. So the corpse leave it to the gang. Suits collars and gets soiled. Surprised? Welcome to the cloud. Where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? Jack in, please. All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Afterlife. And saved. Now bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. matches interesting is that normal or who can say what is normal you're clearly a unique person with unique tastes our system can handle it so who will it be angel or sky looking for evelyn parker does she work here hmm give me a moment Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose a doll that will thrill you. Our dolls can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. I just want to talk to her, that's all. Please, no need for concern. Your doll will talk to you about anything you wish. Huh. I'm sorry. Did she finally say anything useful? Fuck the menu. Let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef, point blank. So who will it be? Angel or Sky? Meaning? Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low profile. They want to keep their Glad cards go close Sky. by. We'll play our I couldn't own. have chosen better myself. Now for the payment. And you'll venture into the clouds. There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. Is that it? <clears throat> we have a strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. Sad. Go eat a dick, Johnny. Thank you. We hope you enjoy your stay. bad but it would be much better real i would eat those thighs what do you mean real i can't get in what's that mean i'm here every motherfucking week you're not authorized to access the vip area oh yes i am no sir you're not 
You can take it up with the manager. No, dog. I'm taking it up with you. Here, now. You got any idea who I am? This conk don't understand that I've got a right to be in there. From what I can see, your VIP membership has been revoked. Say what now? Please stay calm, sir. Or we're gonna have to escort you outside. Fuck. Almost made this place up. I'm Sky, and you must be Vincent. Welp, looks like this will be interesting. So, V, you're dying. How'd you know I'm dying? Deep inside, you fear this, cower before it. So what if I do? Why do you care? Of all the voices in your head, the loudest is that calling for help. Look around. All of this is your doing. Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. I asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. Just answer my question. Tell me where Evelyn is. I don't have time for a debate. Why did the manager say she doesn't work here anymore? When was Evelyn last here? You know anything. Evelyn had her own story before it collided with yours. But I know you'll find her. You always get your way. I was told this place would fulfill my deepest desires. Not what I was expecting with this. When true desires go unfulfilled, they turn into needs. We are here to reach for them and beyond. We are here to understand. So what is it I need so badly? To come to terms with the fact that you died. Now move on already. That's tough. Rather let it eat away at me a bit more. Fear of death is what drives us all to do what we do. You're scared because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? Still want to be the best. Never gave up on that goal. Chances of getting there is starting to look pretty slim, though. I 
just want the world to know that I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased, as if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different? The people I've lost live on in my thoughts. And that's where I'll be. A memory. Or just an annoying little voice in someone else's head. You don't see death as destruction. The end. But as a change. That thought alone could save your life. Afterlife. Oh, what's going on? God, that thing threw me out. Need to talk to you. Talk? You pulled the emergency brake, ripped me out just to talk? What happened? Did I do something wrong? Evelyn Parker, what do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you barge in, violate it, try to rearrange. No. I need this info. Name your price. Fuck you, your eddies and that girl of yours. I could get fired for doing something like this. I'll make it worth your while. All right, fine. Hand it over and get out before you land me in the shit. First, tell me what you know about Evelyn. Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody would care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. Who's Tom? A doll, like the rest of us. What do you think, an XBD star? Where will I find him? VIP area. Booth two, I think. Thanks. See? You turn out to be useful after all. Better keep this short and sweet. 
Two brainwashed sex zombies in a single day is too much, even for me. What we have whatever stands to fuck me up. Something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure, uh... I don't have your details? Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. Relax. You don't need any data, don't need any deets. I'm not a customer. I'm here to talk. To you specifically. Not to be with a doll. Tom, is that it? Uh-huh. I need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. Tried calling her a bunch of times. No luck. You mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. Which was it? Osaka or Oslo? Uh, Oslo. Yeah, definitely Oslo. Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Woodman, who is he? Mr. Forrest. But everybody calls him Woodman. I don't really know why. Okay, Mr. Forrest, then. What's his thing? He's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent. Deals with ugly situations. Got it. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? Man can only dream. The skull sponges and these dolls. Ugh. That's what they should be replacing.
Chill. Keep calm. I'm looking for a girl. Interesting word choice for someone who plowed through, massacring all along the way. Things got out of hand, I'll admit. But cooperate, and no one else will get hurt. I don't negotiate with terrorists. Well, aren't you the king of fuck-ups? You're not helping. Now what? Hell, why don't you just scan the truth from his gray, lifeless eyes? Or scour his cock? That just might work. Sold her off to a ripper. Ship was busted. Could have sent her to get it patched up. A ripper named Fingers in a back alley for hookers. Sounds like a Joy Toy's wet dream.
Why? Hey, I don't know anything. I just work here. Hey, I don't know anything. I just work here.